all that, let's go ahead and get into the cab and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to check for injector balance rates. All right, so now that we have the truck running, I'm gonna be using my Launch 909 Echo or E. This scan tool is pretty nice and I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested in picking up one of these awesome scan tools. During my maintenance procedures here, I always like to check just to make sure everything's good. It's very simple. Even a simple scan tool that you plug into your OBD2 port, which is right where I showed you where I plugged it in. But what I like about these scan tools right here is not only can you read and erase the codes, but you can also check additional things. And also you can do brake bleeding procedures. So the way this works is you just go ahead and click the ECM and then I like to go to read data stream and then engine two. And what you're seeing here is all the balance rates on all eight cylinders. So just hit okay. And then what you're gonna pick up here is very important. I see a four or plus four or anything out of that spectrum. So a five, six, seven, eight, whatever. It means that your injectors are definitely going to need some attention. In my case, I'm good to go. I definitely wanna keep my eye on cylinder one right here because it's showing a three. And then of course right here, uh, cylinder five. So this is a big benefit of why it's important to have a good scan tool to check things like this. And then on top of that, I always like this function right here. This is really cool, the reset function. And then um, this is injector coding in case I install brand new injectors. I did a YouTube video on how to install injectors and I showed how to, how to code your injectors. So that's really neat that this scan tool right here has that function and of course oil reset, which I'll do right now. The other way to do that is to turn the key over with the engine off and then hit the gas pedal three times and then go ahead and just turn the key off and then it'll actually reset your engine oil life. So there's some good practices that I pointed out in this video of how to properly maintain your Duramax and I hope we learned something. And then one more thing I'd like to add, an Edge CTS 2 or 3 monitor is a very good or beneficial way to check injector balance rates versus using a scan tool but I like the options of being able to do this. Not only that, it's got the DPF regen and all that other stuff. That's basically it. Leave it in the comments below. I know I missed a ton of stuff but there's just a good rundown or a good snapshot of what to look for. But leave in the comments below what I missed, what you guys check for, what kind of oils you use, just load it up. If you leave it in the comments, it's really gonna help somebody out tremendously. And let's just go ahead and continue that dialogue down there. Hey, make sure you guys subscribe and again, hit that notification bell. And I do appreciate all of your support. We're gonna continue to plug away some more amazing, awesome footage, more upgrades with the Wife Max as well as Old Red here. And of course, we're giving away the 04 fully restored GMC Duramax that we built on the channel. And if you guys are interested in winning that, go to the truckmasterdiesel.com website. And every $1 spent on that website will get you guys an 